Hello everybody, my name is Abu. I'm technical support representative for ProSoft Engineering, the makers of Data Rescue 3, the Mac recovery software. Today I'm going to show you how to run a demo of Data Rescue 3 after deleting or losing files on your internal hard drive of the Mac. And we're going to show you how to change the download location before the download happens. So go ahead and launch your browser, Safari, and I'm going to show you how to change the download location in, your, in Safari so you don't download any more data to your hard drive that you have that you're currently trying to recover data from. So go ahead, open up. Um, actually, first we could navigate to our website. Go to www.prosofteng.com. This opens up to our products page and in our products page on the right hand top corner is downloads. Inside downloads, the second one down is Data Rescue 3 for Mac. Gives you a choice of demo, update and buy. We're going to go to preferences in Safari and go to the general tab and go to downloads and choose other. When the Finder window opens up, we're going to choose our external hard drive under Devices and then hit Select. And then we can close out Preferences and download our demo. Off to the right on top in Safari, you can see when the download finishes. We can go ahead, open downloads, and open the DMG file for Data Rescue 3. Now we can close out Safari. This is the installer for Data Rescue 3. We're not going to install Data Rescue 3 today. We're going to launch Data Rescue 3 from this installer. So double click on the Data Rescue 3 icon. And Mac gives you a warning that this is a web page. So we're going to hit select open. And uh, this is the installer. The installer basically tells you to, in order to launch Data Rescue 3, you want to install it on the computer's hard drive. So if you choose install, it will install it. But today we're going to choose continue without installing because we do not want to install any other data to our hard drive that we're trying to recover lost data from. Okay, now we can select and put your name in there and select demo. This gives you a warning that in demo you can preview nine files and recover one 10 meg file. You hit OK and then punch in your password for the Mac. Now we're going to choose Start New Scan in Data Rescue 3 and go to Step 1. In Step 1, we're going to choose our internal boot drive of the Mac and hit Next. And this is step two. In step two, we're going to choose deep scan and hit start. This gives you a warning in valid workspace, workspace meaning a separate hard drive to recover data to. We're going to select OK and choose our external hard drive for workspace. This starts the scan of the internal hard drive. A deep scan runs on the entire hard drive of the Mac, whereas a deleted file scan only runs on the free space of the hard drive. So if you're trying to recover data that was overwritten, let's say for example you erased your hard drive and reinstalled the OS and you're trying to recover the data that was there previously, that's when you will run a deep scan 
a deleted file scan would be for files that were just deleted and you're trying to find those files and a quick scan would be for a hard drive that is having issues mounting or is not booting to Mac OS so here we are at the scan results page step 3 of 3 in data rescue 3 on the left you can choose the scan and on the right we have the files now we go to data rescue 3 on the menu bar on top and select activate you can punch in the name and the serial number and then select activate and this will activate data rescue 3 after it's activated then you can go ahead and select files and recover your data this concludes our video for the running a demo of data rescue 3 for mac if you have any further questions, please do contact support.